Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Blade Arcus from Shining. Now, this is an anime 2D, sort of 2.5D fighting game, and yeah, I know, it's kind of weird to see that on my channel, but I'm actually a huge fan of fighting games, I'm just terrible at them, so yeah, excuse me for not being able to pull off 100 times combos and things like that, but yeah... We're gonna experience one of the character's stories in the story mode today. And there is, of course, online mode, training mode, and versus mode if you so desire. Of course, online mode right now for me before the release of the game, which is releasing on the 28th of July, I believe, is currently not working. But obviously, online mode will be working once it releases, so no problem there. Now, of course, there is a very sparse options menu, not really anything to talk about there. But weirdly enough, you may notice that this video isn't in 60 FPS. And usually, you know, with fighting games, if you're a, uh, if you know anything about fighting games, 60 FPS is very, very important. Now, of course, this game actually does run in 60 FPS all the time. Even while recording this, it's running at 60, no problem at all. But as soon as you start recording it in 60 FPS with my recording software, it just does not want to do it. It just goes like, I'm going to go to 30. I'm going to go to 30 and you're going to like it. And I don't know why that it, it does that. I don't know why. But it does. So 30 will have to be it. But don't worry. It does play at a constant 60 when you actually play the game yourself. So anyway, let us start a story mode. I am using a controller here, of course. Because I don't have a fight stick. I, I don't actually have a fight stick because, of course, I'm not that good. So I would not invest the money into a fight stick. But anyway, yes, you can use a keyboard as well. But I would not recommend it because, obviously, fighting games and keyboards, yeah, it, it's just not my thing, really. So you have a wide variety of different characters here. Do bear in mind, I have no idea where these characters are from. I think they might be from an actual anime TV series. But I, I am unaware of that. So, yes, do forgive me for that as well. So, yeah, I've, I've actually completed the story mode once with Isaac, and I actually found it incredibly fun. He was a very fun character. But for this, I'm going to be playing as Ryuga. So we're going to be selecting him, and you can also play as a variety of different colors, color schemes and things like that. I'm actually going to go for the white beige one. That seems like a pretty cool one. And then you can pick your support. Now, if you're familiar with the... Marvel vs. Capcom games, then you'll know about the support system that they have there. But, of course, this is a little bit different in the fact that you can't actually change character mid-game. So, basically, once you win one round, then it gives you the opportunity to change character. But if you don't, then you have to stick with that one character for that round. So, yeah, it's not like Marvel vs. Capcom in that way, so it's more like... Hmm, well, it's more like they just come in and they give you a little bit of an attack and then... That's it. So that's that's pretty cool anyway. So we're going to we're going to be going with Pyron here or Peron as our support because in the story they're actually they actually know each other in the story mode. So that's, I think that's pretty cool anyway. So we can go for let's go for something similar. I think we'll go for white and pink or white and a sort of pinky color. So yes, that seems fine. And I'm going to be playing on normal. I think I could probably play on hard, but I for for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to be playing on normal. But, yeah, the game on normal is reasonably easy, dependent on the character. I have actually played quite a few of these characters. Some of them are extremely difficult to get used to, but the ones I've played that I like are pretty easy. So I guess that, that says something about my skill level. So we're just going to be going for normal. And it does have fully voice acted Japanese sort of, uh, well, voices, obviously, but the problem with it is that it doesn't read these things out. So, Ryuga, a boy who desired strength above all else, driven by this un insatiable desire, he committed the ultimate sin. He removed the seal on the seven soul orbs, the very sacred tre treasures he was sworn to protect. And that's the story. That is, that is his story, at least. Isaac is the actual bad guy of the entire thing, and he wants to destroy the world. Which is hilarious. The, the first character that I would choose would be that. And that's one of the soul orbs. Set free the seven orbs scattered across the land in search of the truly strong. One of them found a home in Ryuga himself. 
And that's him, obviously, absorbing one of them, I suppose. Damn it. I thought I'd get them all. And as you can see, he has fully voice acted. I'm actually going to shut up while you can hear the voice acting. Obviously, I, I, I obviously cannot understand Japanese. But it's kind of nice to actually have that there because I know that's quite important. So, yeah, I'm just going to shut up so you can hear that. ま、<笑> So that is what we could see there. Apparently they have a little bit of a thing going on, maybe. Maybe they're they're sort of romantically involved a little bit, or maybe he thinks they could be, but anyway, in the first round we're fighting against Well, this archer elf slash person and yes we're going to be taking her down as you can see he is very very damaging in actual fact i gotta say i actually very much like his move set i am not very good with the combos i gotta say not very good with the combos i was a lot better on isaac in that regard because he just seems to have a much sort of greater combo style Whereas Ryugo is more about the heavy burst damage that you get from your heavy attack. Now this is an example of the character selection that you can do. I can actually switch to my support character, but I'm not going to right now. I'm just going to stay with our main character right here. And you can call them in for support. So what we're going to do is, if I could actually block and things, what we're actually going to do is bring her in. And as you can see, there you go. She attacked our opponent there, which is actually pretty nice. So... Oh, and then of course I miss with our strong attack. That's great, isn't it? But as you can see, the huge amount of damage that we're able to do right here. And there we go. Not bad at all. Obviously, this is the first first round. Stage one is relatively easy. I believe there are eight stages, as is customary, I would say, with almost all fighting games most of the time. I remember playing Tekken 2. I'm actually a huge fan of Tekken in general. And pretty terrible at it yet again, but I really do like Tekken and what is what is actually going on there, the story and, and everything. Even though the story technically isn't the most th thrilling thing and shouldn't be really in a fighting game, but it's kind of nice to have that little a little bit of extra, isn't there? I mean, right now we're playing the story mode, and of course, it is pretty cool because you do get to see a little bit more of the characters and you get to see their personalities, so you get to kind of know what they're like. And as a result, you kind of think, ah, oh, yeah, I'd really like to play as that character. And yeah, I think that's that's pretty nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to fight, I think, until maybe stage six. And then I'll, I'll cut back there because I'm going to just finish this round here. And then I'm going to just fight the rest of the enemies off screen because it's going to it's going to take a bit of time. And then I'll see you back at stage six, I think. Because stage 6 is definitely going to be something you want to see because it's one of those times where stage 6 is just the ending and then you kind of get the penultimate boss and then you get a, a bigger enemy at the end. So I guess I'll see you there. Or maybe not because we actually have a cutscene going on here and we get a little bit of an opportunity to showcase the Japanese voice acting once again. <laughs> さがしたぞ、リュウガ。遠離るの、兄貴。俺がお前たちに剣を教えたのは、こんなことをするためではないぞ。もともと強い奴には分かるもんか。落ち着くんだ、リュウガ。力のために力を求めても、その先には何もない
力があるから言えてるんだろ説教なんてうんざりだ誰も俺の気持ちなんて分かりゃしない俺は力を求めそして手に入れたそれだけのことだ<笑>分からずやめ道を正すのは兄弟子の役目たとえそれが命を奪うことになろうとも And that is our next fight, of course. Oh, yes, here we go. And this is only stage three, hilariously enough. Yeah, so as you can see, Fenrir actually has some really cool weapons right there. Wolverine esque, if I may say so. But yes, let's see what we can do. He's going to be relatively difficult to take out. Obviously, we don't have any ranged attacks, as far as I'm aware. I mean, yes, you, they, he does actually have a slight projectile that he can use, but that projectile is combo based, as far as I'm aware. So it's a little bit more difficult to use than Altina's, for example, the archer that we faced in stage one, I believe. Yeah. So that is that's kind of that's kind of nice, I suppose. But oh, there we go. We actually got a perfect. Wow, that's that's kind of. It's kind of impressive, I suppose, but it is, it is stage three on normal difficulty, so yeah. But we're gonna try and pull some more support in here, and ah, uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a very bad idea in actual fact. Yes, there's a nice critical as well. There are criticals in this game, which many people may find a little bit frustrating because sometimes you can get extremely damaging attacks and literally be able to just just do nothing really just have nothing done but then you just get a critical and then it's just like insane damage another perfect that's kind of weird okay well i guess it's because i'm just kind of attacking all the time and, and not really giving him a chance but yes i think a higher difficulty would definitely give a much greater challenge so yes this is one of the filler battles i'm going to be fighting melty with her little companion sorbet isn't that amusing and here is yet another cutscene. ああ、なんだよ、こいつ。ちくしょう。負けねえ。負けて止まるか。やっと見つけた。バイ。俺の邪魔をしないでくれ。間違ったことしてる人は放っておけるわけないじゃない。お説教もいい加減にしろ。お前に俺は止められねえ。そういうセリフは一度でも勝ってから言うべきね。絶対に連れて帰ってやるわよ。この命にかけても。<笑> And once again, we have another rivalry. Obviously, this is, yes, this is our previous comrade who were protecting the orbs together, and we're gonna obviously take her on. And she she seems she seems pretty, uh, maybe not. There we go. There's a little bit of damage there. But as you can see, the strong attack, if you lead into it from a combo, is very, very damaging. Obviously, if you're playing against a real person, I doubt you would be able to actually get this going. I, I don't think the strong attack would actually be allowed. I mean, not allowed as in banned, but actually interrupted in some way because, I mean, obviously that was that was very, very simple and very quick to eliminate. And yes, we're going to continue with our main character. Thank you very much. So yes, otherwise, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we can just take her out and let's ask, ask for some support there. That's actually pretty cool that you can get some really nice combinations going there as well. But as you can see, the strongest attack that we have does over 2,000 damage, and I mean, that's pretty much half an HP bar because we do have two HP bars, so that is very, very powerful of course but it does have quite the wind up time as well かった。俺がパイロンに勝ったんだ。少しはやるようになったわね。さっさと帰れよ。今なら命までは取らねえぜ。何一人で終わった気になってんのよ。誰が帰るって。いや、だって霊玉はもう俺のものに。あいにくため、そんなもののために戦ってんじゃないのよ。おい、もうやめろよ。それ以上怪我したら。
お願いです龍神様どうか私に彼を止める力を行くわよ And here we have a rematch against her. Wow, that is okay. I, I, that's that's kind of that's kind of rare. And that's a stage six fight. Okay, so that was stage five and stage six. So apparently, the story requires that she attack us once again, which is perfectly fine. I don't mind so much. We can do some extra moves here, I suppose. Maybe. Whoa. Okay, that's that's new. That's kind of new. I like that. Okay, I'm. <laughs> of course, I'm not particularly used to any of the combos with this character, so it's it's more of a case of finding out what is the most efficient or the best kind of move set to use. But yes, for the most part, I'm just trying to find my center here, trying to find the best thing that I would like to use here. Ooh, that's very nice! Wow, nice eight-hit combo there. Obviously, that was thanks to our support character as well. Now you can actually block, which. I haven't really demonstrated, but you can actually block by holding back on the control pad or wherever, just moving in the opposite direction. So yeah, that's that's reasonably easy to do, just as in varying other fighting games. Not Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat actually has a different way of doing things, but anyway, that is victory. Hold on. Hold on. おいどうしてどうしてこんなことになったんだよ力俺が欲しかったのは本当にこんな…おめでとう君は目的を達成したのだよ目の上の単コブも消えさぞすがすがしい気分だろう違う、うん、俺が欲しかったのはこんなものじゃないふん<笑>またそれかね君らはおい友情信頼思いやり慈しみ笑わせるそんなものが君に何をくれたひどく惨めな敗北とつまらない現実ではないのかね違うんだだから君は力を求めたそして君はそれを証明した君は求めるものを手に入れたのだよ喜びたまえ違うって言ってるだろうつまらんな魔竜のコアも稚拙な精神まではどうしようもないらしいよろしいこの実験も終わりとしよう実験どういうことだその腕の痛みマリューコアの侵食はさぞやつらかったろうな人とマリューを合成した場合期待を上回る性能になるようだがやはり長くは持たないようだな,なんだとモルモットを処分し霊玉を揃え最後の仕上げといこうあんたもまさか霊玉を霊玉そうかそれがあれば面白い命にすがろうとした場合のデータも取らせてもらおうか。And here we go. This is the penultimate boss fight. And Isaac, of course, is my previous character, so it's kind of a bit sad that I have to fight him, but I really do like him a lot. He does have some very, very cool movesets, and maybe the AI will actually show us some of those. Like that, for example, yes. He's a very fast character. He has, yeah, as you can see, a lot going for him, and I very much like him a lot. And he's actually blocking everything I'm doing right now, which is quite impressive. There we go. There's a little bit of damage there. Let's call in some support a little bit here. Just try and set up for our next attacks, maybe. Oh, look at how huge Isaac is in comparison to Ryuga as well. I mean, literally. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna be blocking, of course. 
but we can just actually use our strong attack from halfway across the screen as well. But they can block it. They can block that. So it is it is kind of it's kind of balanced in that way. And they can obviously jump over it and do some sort of dive attacks and things like that. But for the most part, I'm very much liking the game so far. And oh, there we go. A lovely counter there too. You do get extra damage on counters, of course. And now he's using his special attack, or he was. Yeah, he, did he just use his special attack? I think he just used his special. I have no idea how to use the special attack, by the way. So yes, again, that's one of my that's one of my failings here. And he's bringing in so much support right now. How dare you? Yes, there we go. A nice KO there to finish him off. Ah, that strong attack is very, very powerful. Not every character has that strong attack, by the way. It's just this guy that seems to have a very strong, strong attack. And there are a couple of others that have weapons and things, but otherwise, yes. He is quite strong. The final test is, of course, fighting ourselves. Oh yes, a dark version of ourselves. This is going to be impressive. Suffice it to say, because if this guy has the same kind of abilities, yes he does. As you can see, he has the same kind of abilities that we do, and that means we are going to have some problems. But maybe not. Maybe if I just spam this one ability, maybe I'll be able to win. <laughs> yes, that seems to be the case. Oh, he's almost down. He is almost down. Maybe if I can finish him off. There we go. Nice dive attack, nice charge attack there. I think that, yes, the charge attack definitely helped out because we were able to break his block and then finish up with a nice small hit there. Oh, he's trying. He, look at that. The AI is so heavily trying for the strong attacks right now. Look at that, yes. Well, the strong attacks are the probably the most efficient way to beat enemies, but of course, I like to, I like to switch things up a little bit. I like to have a little bit of variety. He does have some good anti-air as well by the looks of things. Yes, there we go. And I think he is dead. There we go. Yes, very nice. And there's a little projectile there. It's, it's a very short range, I believe, projectile, but you need to follow up after a combo for that. Now I understand. All I ever wanted was to overcome my own weakness. お前のことだからきっと怒るかな。まあ、それも悪くねえか。聞いてくれ。霊玉よ。俺の俺の本当の願いは And there it is, that is the end of the game, and, well, technically not the end of the game, because there are a huge amount of other story mode characters to play through. As you can see, there's all the voice actors for all of the characters, and they all have very, very different movesets and everything, and you can see in the background there some actual good players, or shall we say good AI, or something along those lines, fighting each other with... A variety of different moves and things and all, all cool things like that so yeah there it is and and I can assume that his wish was to revive Pyron from her demise and and hopefully bring her back to life but there it is that's it that is at the end of the story mode for Ryuga and up oh, there we go <laughs> Yeah, 
い,いえ手伝っていただいて感謝していますなあパイロン本当はあいつを探しに行きたいんじゃないのかまったく一体どこで何をしていることやらいいんです今はこのお寺を何とかするのが先決ですからそれにいつか強くなって戻ってくる気がするんですなんてわかりませんけど And there we have it, that's the end of Ryuga's story, and I hope you enjoyed this special feature. A little bit longer than usual, of course, but it's a special feature. It is. It is definitely for that. So, yeah, there we go. And if you are interested in this game, there is a link in the description where you can check it out, and maybe even purchase it, who knows. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.